This is In Focus News. Hello, I'm David Gibbons. A $1 billion housing project has been approved by the New South Wales State Planning Minister on land owned by the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Kurrumbong. State Planning Minister Christina Keneally said that the project would provide for 2,500 new houses and 5,000 jobs. Developer Keith Johnson says he has been fighting bureaucratic red tape for nine years to get the land rezoned for housing. Johnson told in focus that the development would provide a legacy for Avondale College, a Christian tertiary institution located in Kurumbong and owned by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. It's the first time in the history of the college that it has its own endowment fund and if it's used wisely and invested wisely, it's a future for Adventist education in this division. Lake Macquarie Mayor Greg Piper described the development as a state significant project which will be good for all New South Wales. It's really a win-win across, across the board. We're going to get uh, people living here who need homes. The environment's going to be wonderful. The social infrastructure is going to be great. A copy of the plan, the State Planning Minister's press release and a video interview with Keith Johnson are available on our website. And in New Zealand, six giant billboards are being erected in Christchurch, New Zealand, inviting the public to attend a motivational seminar that promises to change their lives. Radio, TV and newspaper advertising will run during January and 130,000 leaflets will be distributed inviting New Zealanders to attend the Lifestyle and Mastery Lecture Series run by motivational speaker Leo Shreven. American Shreven is credited with having most baptisms in North America this past two years. South New Zealanders have contributed more than $400,000 for the seminar program, enabling the public to attend for free. One person in 532 is an Adventist in South New Zealand, the lowest ratio in the South Pacific, but also the largest potential mission field. And so here is an incredible opportunity for us to share the unique message that we as Seventh-day Adventists have of a, of a Lord and Saviour who is coming soon with these people. And a new study of health has shown that Southern Baptists have the worst health of any religious group in America. Researchers from the University of Purde identified there were two doctrines of Southern Baptists that led to their poor health. One is the teaching of once saved, always saved. Church members may interpret this as meaning they don't have to care for their body. The other doctrine is the idea that the soul is more important than the body. They discovered that there are some religions that were, were uh, much more obese than others and uh, they look they look at Southern Baptists, of course, known for the deep fried foods and all kinds of things. One notable exception is the Seventh Day Adventists, whose longevity and health outcomes have been repeatedly demonstrated to be among the best in America, if not the world. The Solomon Islands government has given two hundred and fifty thousand Solomon dollars to Betty Karma Adventist College, situated east of the capital Honiara. The money will be used to improve the quality of the drinking water for the college's 400 students. Education Minister Matthew Wally announced the funding when he officially opened celebrations marking the school's 60th anniversary. Meanwhile, the 2008 Honiara Evangelistic Series run by Gary Webster has concluded for the year with 61 people being baptised at the close of the meetings. More than 550 people accepted Jesus Christ and were baptised in June. Local church members continue to work with the 100 people who have also requested baptism. The Adventist Church in New Zealand and the Pacific is about to print tithe envelopes for children. Children's ministry leader Carly Ward wants to encourage kids to start giving one-tenth of their pocket money back to God. But she has warned that children will only scribble on the envelopes. So Carly thought, why not make them colouring sheets on the themes of why we give to God? The envelopes will be printed in English and French because there are so many French-speaking territories in the Pacific. And 24 pastors and evangelists are attending a three-day seminar at Adventist Media learning how to present to a video camera. The pastors say it has been so practical that it will also help them to preach better sermons at church on Saturday mornings as well. This is In Focus News. Thanks for joining me again this week. I'm David Gibbons. Thank you.